This video reviews summation notation, that is, the sigma notation used to write a sum. In this expression, using the Greek capital letter sigma, the letter i is called the index, the number 1 is called the lower limit of summation, or the starting index, and the number 5 is called the upper limit of summation, or the ending index. We evaluate this expression by summing up 2 to the i for all values of i starting from 1 and ending at 5 and stepping through the integers. In other words, we start with i equals 1 and take 2 to the 1, and then we add to it 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, and 2 to the 5. If we do the arithmetic, this comes out to 62. In this second expression, our index is j, and we start with j equals 3 and go up to j equals 7, once again stepping through integer values. So we have to add up 1 third plus 1 fourth plus 1 fifth plus 1 sixth, and then our last term is 1 seventh. This sum is equal to 153 over 140. When we're given a sum like this one, it can be handy to write it in sigma notation because it's more compact. But to do so, we have to look for the pattern between the terms. In this case, the terms all differ by 3. So I can think of 9 as being 6 plus 3 and 12 as being 6 plus twice 3 and 15 as being 6 plus 3 times 3, and so on. In fact, we can even think of 6 itself as being 6 plus 0 times 3 to fit this pattern. Now we can write the sum as sigma of 6 plus i times 3, where i ranges from 0 to 4. Here, we're thinking of 6 plus 3 as 6 plus 1 times 3. Now there are other ways to write this sum in sigma notation. For example, we could notice that each of the terms is a multiple of 3, and in fact, 6 is 3 times 2, 9 is 3 times 3, and so on. And so we could write our sum as sigma of 3 times n, where n ranges from 2 to 6. The choice of the letter we use for the index doesn't matter at all. For example, we could also write this as sigma from k equals 2 to 6 of 3 times k. Here k and n play the same role. Please pause the video for a moment and try to write this next example in sigma notation. Since the denominators are powers of 2, we could write the denominators as 2 to the i, where i ranges from 2 to 5. The numerators are 1 less than the denominators, so we can write the numerators as 2 to the i minus 1. Once we're adding these terms up, we write sigma, and we let i go from 2 to 5. In this video, we reviewed summation notation, or sigma notation, for writing sums.